What's going on guys? We're here in Midway again. We're getting ready to turn on to Coastal Highway or Route 1. Uh, we're getting ready to do a tour of the downtown Lewis area today. Uh, again, Midway is midway between Lewis and uh, Rehoboth where the two zip codes meet. And last week when we started with Rehoboth, we went uh, southbound on Route 1. Today we're gonna go northbound on Route 1 and hit the east of Route 1 Lewis area. So here we are turning on to Coastal Highway. If you're new to the channel, we cover Coastal Delaware and Coastal Delaware real estate each and every week with new content. If that's something that you'd like to see some more of, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you or someone you know is looking to purchase real estate here in Delaware, go ahead and reach out to me. All my information is down below in the description and here on the screen. So as we head north on Route 1 here, this is all like the business area, mostly business, not a whole lot of residential. Um, there are some condo complexes along the way here. And we're going to make a right here and head down toward the beach. If we would have stayed on Route 1 back there, it would have just taken us to some more business areas. You got a business park here. There is, right up here on the right-hand side, is a brewery called Crooked Hammock. They've got a great like outdoor, uh, they call it the backyard beer garden. You can see it there on the sign, but they've got a kids play area and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's a fantastic little spot. All the, you know, if you're into craft beer and that kind of stuff, there's, uh, that's where you go. Uh, there is another one up here that will pass in just a minute and I'll point that out as well. So over on the right is uh, a community called Governors. That's a community by Shell Brothers, very popular community. Um, I've mentioned it in a couple of other videos. And that's all down a road called Gills Neck Road, which we're getting ready to pass here in just a second. Uh, there's a number of communities down Gills Neck Road. Again, we'll visit that in another video, but they, uh, they've got a number of different communities down there. Price points down there, uh, townhomes, you're probably starting in the 750-ish range. Uh, any single family homes are going to be more expensive than that down that way. Here on the left hand side we've got Cape Henlope and High School. Uh, that's the high school for the Rehoboth, Milton, Lewis, uh, those areas. So it's a pretty large high school, covers quite a few people. This is Gills Neck Road here on the right hand side. Again, that's where you take all those communities that we discussed. On the left there, you can see that new community going in. That's all gonna be senior housing. On the right, that red barn, that's the Big Oyster Brewery. That's another local brewery. Uh, they're owned by a restaurant group called Finn's Restaurant Group. Um, they've got a number of different restaurants in the area. On the left here, we got the Brush Factory on Kings, which is a great little spot. They've got like little booths that uh, vendors set up and you can purchase a number of different things in there. And now we're getting to the Lewis city limits. So this, this road splits here. You can go left at this lighthouse or you can go right at the lighthouse. We're gonna go right today just to show you this route and then we'll come back up a little bit that way. Uh, you do have the station on Kings right there which is a great little coffee and breakfast spot. Um, they've got a greenhouse in there where you can sit and have your breakfast and coffee, great little spot. Right on the left there, you've got the Lewis Public Library. Uh, my daughter loves going there. They've got like some reading time for kids and stuff like that during the summer months. Uh, great little spot, uh, especially for that age. And then now we're on the residential side of things. The uh, bike path is right along the right-hand side. So I've, I've mentioned that in a number of different videos, the Junction Breakwater Trail, that runs right along the right-hand side here and is runs all the way down into uh, Lewis and the Cape Henlopen State Park and all that. This bridge that we're going over now, this goes over the Lewis and Rehoboth Canal. Uh, so that canal connects the Rehoboth Bay to the Delaware Bay. 
Um, it's a major canal that is used quite often in the summer by boaters, kayakers, uh, stand-up paddle boarders, that kind of stuff. This intersection here is actually where the bike path crosses this main road and takes you down towards Cape Henlopen. We're gonna go left at this stop sign up here. If you were to go right, that takes you to the Cape May Lewis Ferry, which takes you over to Cape May, New Jersey. And it takes you down to the Cape Henlopen State Park, which is one of the bigger state parks in the state. On the left-hand side here, we've got East of Maui, which is the surf shop here in Lewis. They do have another one down in Dewey Beach, uh, which you'll see in another video, but that's the Lewis location there. They've got surfboards, bathing suits, skimboards, all that kind of stuff there. So if you were to immediately, I'll pull into the parking lot here, but immediately on my right, right now is Lewis Beach, which is where the uh, Delaware Bay is. This is the Dairy Queen on the corner here. Uh, a friend of mine owns that Dairy Queen. That Dairy Queen is very popular. Uh, they are slammed in the summertime. People love going there after the beach. getting attacked by seagulls there so this is the public parking lot for the public beach access here in Lewis uh, again that's the Delaware Bay not the Atlantic Ocean there the only spot you can go to the ocean here in Lewis is actually up at Cape Henlopen State Park uh, if you're familiar with the shape of Delaware it comes to a point and Cape Henlopen is at that point that splits where the bay is and where the ocean is shipping channel out there so you can often see barges and stuff out there at the beach they put that sand fence there in the winter time to keep some of the sand from blowing up here into the parking lot uh, it works for the most part they do occasionally need to come out here with like a front end loader and take all the sand and put it back on the beach Condo complexes right or condo building right in front of us here. Um, the number of different condos in there, and that's all residential down that street. It is a one way street, so we can't go that way. All on the right hand side is our residential area. You do have some businesses as we get up here a little bit further, um, but on the right hand side you got residential all the way up until you get to the Roosevelt Inlet. Harvest Tide right here, great little steakhouse. Um, they do a great job in there. Right in the right hand side there, there's a spot called the Lemon Tree, which is fantastic for cheesesteaks. And you've got uh, the Daily Market, which I've been going there since I was a kid. The Daily Market is a cool little spot. Um, I love all like the stuff they have in there. It's just a deli, but it's great. Uh, Beacon Motel here on the uh, right hand side, number of businesses, Lewis Cycle Sports and Quest Sports or Quest Adventures down there in the bottom where they rent out kayaks, paddle boards, all that kind of stuff. 
down here on the right, you've got the uh, Fisherman's Wharf, which comprises the Wheelhouse Restaurant. And then all the way at the end of that street, you've got one of my favorite spots, which is Irish Eyes, which is right there on the water. Wheelhouse is here on the water as well. And now we're going back over the Lewis and Rehoboth Canal. That's the drawbridge. So that bridge does go up when larger boats need to get through. Dogfish Inn here on the left. That's from the popular Dogfish uh, Beer. Sam Calgione uh, purchased that property and turned it into a Dogfish Inn. Now you can do like some Dogfish experiences where you stay there. You've got tours of the factory and stuff included in your stay. Uh, they do run, I think, some shuttles and stuff like that up to the brewery in Milton from there. And we're going to turn up here, once we get through this light, we're going to turn on to 2nd Street, which is the main business district uh, street here in Lewis. Right there on the left behind the Dogfish Inn is Striper Bites. Great restaurant. I love their food. Uh, they do a really nice job in there. All right, so this is 2nd Street. So here is the main residential, I mean, this is the main business district. Lewis Oyster House just opened up, uh, which is right here on the left. They do a fantastic job in there. It's been packed. Um, this Lewis Bake Shop is great coffee. They've got croissants that are like the size of your head in there. On the left-hand side, you've also got Kids Catch, which has been a toy store for longer than I've been, been here. Um, I used to go there as a kid. My daughter loves it as a kid. Agave, the famed agave is right there on the right-hand side. They do a fantastic job in there. Mexican food. Um, we pointed out the one in Rehoboth as well in the other video, uh, but that is the Lewis location right there. And as we keep coming, we've got the Lewis Historical Society here on the left. That's the visitor center for it. Um, they do some different tours and stuff. And then this is all residential here. So this gets you just in some residential district as well. And then here is the main component of the Lewis Historical Society. So that whole compound right there is all part of the Historical Society. All right, so this is Pilot Town Road. Pilot Town Road is the main road right along the canal here. It takes you all the way up to the inlet. This park right across the street from us right here is a great little spot. They've got pickleball courts right in front of us. They got tennis courts. They got uh, the Little League field right there. There's a playground up uh, closer to the water that my daughter loves going to. There's a light ship overfalls, which is an old ship that is uh, now a museum that you can go ahead and tour there. And this, the properties here on the left, all along Pilot Town Road here, are some of the most sought after properties here in Lewis. Uh, you've got nobody across from you on the canal side, so these are all as close to the canal as you can get on this side. And a number of these come with docks as well. So they come with a pretty hefty price tag. Uh, you're not gonna find anything along Pilot Town Road here for probably under a million and a half at this point. See that big windmill in front of us? That's a big wind turbine. Uh, that's with the University of Delaware, and they use that for uh, generating power. Now just mostly residential area, um, different communities up and through here on Pilot Town Road. We're going to turn on the road here, which is New Road, and take you a little bit of a back way here, back to where we just were. So if we were to keep going on New Road here, this would dead end right into Coastal Highway and Route 1. So it takes you all the way back out there to the uh, main road and gets you back to the highway. Give you a little tour of some of the residential district here. So this is all neighborhoods. Um, this is Pilot Town Park here. There's a couple different neighborhoods connected throughout here, but this is 
what you're looking at residentially in downtown Lewis, again, you're just a few uh, blocks away from the downtown area. Nice, quiet, uh, a little bit removed from the hustle and bustle. Lewis is a little more quiet, I guess, than uh, Rehoboth Beach, just less in the way of tourism and stuff in Lewis. You definitely have a lot more tourism in Rehoboth with the boardwalk, amusement parks, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Mariner's Retreat here on the right. Great little new, new community. Um, they've done a really nice job in there. Again, mostly just residential throughout here. We are going to make our way back towards 2nd Street and just so we can see a little bit more of that area. So here on the right, you've got the uh, George Smith Park. There's a little playground in there. There's a pond you can, you know, sit by a bench and, and watch the ducks and stuff go by. Um, but it's a great little spot in the summertime. Uh, flowers blooming, all that kind of stuff. It's really pretty. see some of the historic homes on the right hand side here a lot of those are part of the historical society's tour historical society here on the left hand side just to give you frame of reference of where we were at to turn left at any one of these stop signs here it would run right into second street we're on west third street right now uh, so if we were to turn left at any of these it would take you right back to second street it is a one second street is a one-way street um, so if you're down this far you can't really get to much because you'd be going the opposite way of the business area This little spot on the right hand side old wood delaware they just converted that that used to be a blacksmith's uh display area 
they do a lot of really cool stuff uh, with reclaimed wood and all that kind of stuff. Right here in front of us is the Zwanendale Museum, which is one of the museums here in downtown Lewis. Uh, it's got some artifacts from shipwrecks and stuff in there. And this road is, we came in on one side of the library. The library is almost right on the other side of us now. Um, it's where that's, that road split off that we mentioned before. It's, that road is the one that's just parallel to us. Honey's Cafe right here on the left. Fantastic breakfast spot here in Lewis. I love their food in there. You got the Lewis Firehouse. And then up here on the right-hand side, uh, if you're familiar with the area at all and have heard of our healthcare system, uh, BB Medical Center and BB Hospital. That's it right there on the right. Uh, by far the largest hospital here in the greater coastal Delaware area. We do have some that are a little bit further inland, but that's the largest one for uh, this area. On the left hand side where you see that sign with the red truck on it lloyd's market that's a great little market in there the it, it's been around forever um real small aisles real old school feel it's a cool little spot they typically have a lot of the local stuff that you can't find elsewhere um, and their prices are very reasonable in comparison to a lot of the major grocery stores You got Lewis Elementary there on the right. They just redid that entire school, added a whole mess of space to it, um, but it's brand new on the inside. They did a fantastic job in there, and it, it really is a completely different place than it was before. National Guard here on the left. This auto gallery right here on the right hand side, they do a really nice job in there. They typically have some pretty cool cars. Um, they get in some good stuff. They typically have good prices. They're local, so they typically work with you pretty well. That bike path we talked about before, it crosses this road right here. So it goes out that way to the right towards Georgetown. This is the back side of the senior condo complex we were talking about a little bit earlier. Um, so that's all where that is. And then at this light, we've got the uh, back side of the high school. So when we were coming in and going eastbound, we were on the other side of the high school. This is the back side of the high school. Um, just again, to give you frame of reference for where you're at. Once we get up into here a little bit, it starts to turn a lot more to business district again. Uh, you've got a lot more doctor's offices, attorney's offices, um, some real estate offices. But you got a number of different business communities up in here that, you know, there's not a whole lot of residential throughout here. There are some sprinkled throughout, but you've got attorney office here on the right hand side. Bairdman Dallas Broxted, they do a lot of real estate handlings. Um, here's some residential, but for the most part, we're looking at mostly business. Um, BB has a number of medical offices up through here. So those are mostly like their outpatient services and that kind of stuff. That's where uh, Catching Cove is, which is a brand new community. Um, they do a nice job in there. It really is pretty and it's close to everything downtown. And then up through here, we've got a number of different businesses. Dollar General, Roasters Liquors, Walgreens, Car Wash, we've got 
um, the wise market there in five points so here on the right hand side is five points which is a very large community there's townhomes there's uh, condos there's single family homes and there's businesses in there so they've got a number of restaurants and that kind of stuff in there it really is uh, you don't have to necessarily leave that complex in order to get everything you need if you live within five points and then as we make our way up here we're going to run right back into coastal highway and that's where we're going to end the video today you'll see that there's a lowe's home improvement right across the street um, that's kind of the start of where lewis is and as we head back south onto route one um, we'll head back home so if you guys enjoyed the video today do me a favor hit the subscribe button down below and smash the notification bell next to it that'll keep you in the loop each week when we go live discussing all things coastal delaware and then if you or someone you know is looking for a purchase or a sale here in Delaware. I would love the opportunity to work with you, so please do me a favor and reach out. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace.